only after a couple months of dating was the first time that we told each other that we loved each other. And no, we kind of, actually after a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, there you go. Sorry, that's why I'm here. Yes. My baby and me, we had a baby girl and never felt the same again. I love that baby girl, sweet baby girl, sweet like sugar cane. With Alabama, I had no idea, and I was waiting tables at Nick's um, in Laguna Beach, and 95% of people swore she was a boy. When I was pregnant with Ruby, it was such a different pregnancy. I think because of everything that was going on, I thought she would be a boy when she came out and, and Andrew's like, it's another girl. I'ma teach my baby girl right from wrong and all the things I know. The day I got diagnosed, he didn't really skip a beat. He just kind of said, okay, well, so what do we do? To be able to tour and perform and stuff, that's always been a big desire. Becoming a dad does change that a little bit and made me just wanna be trying to carve out more of a, um, like a, a life and a career having to do with music that is somehow not necessarily taking me away from, you know, from all three of these girls for months and months and months at a time. I have to do a lot of cover songs at the shows that, that I'll play right now because they're like four hours plus, you know, each each thing. And then I'll set aside shows that I'll just go do original music. Normally I just play acoustic guitar and harmonica, um, but I play everything and I DJ too. I would gladly be a no-name artist. It's just writing and recording and like making money from my music, so. The songs that I want to write definitely take more of a turn when you go through experiences like this and the stuff that I was talking about before doesn't sometimes seem to have as much relevance for me now. And so I just want to write a different kind of a song, you know? Thinking about the songs I've never sung Thinking about the things I've never done Hoping that the coming years Brings us joy and no more tears Let's not make same mistakes again You know there's going to be people going through something like this that don't have a husband or a wife or maybe a family, but I think to find your support team is crucial. It hasn't been like picture perfect as pretty much all marriages are not. Nothing in life is really picture perfect. His sense of humor has gotten me through <laughs> so many things because I can definitely get stuck in my head and he gets me out of that. Like, okay, life isn't so bad. <laughs>